So many people ask me about Fibonacci's. Fran, how do I trade Fibonacci's? How do you get the levels that you do? It's the golden pocket, I always say. And then they say, but the golden pocket is different on many other traders' strategy. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you how I get my Fibonacci's up, where I pull them from, and then watch price bounce from those areas. Hi, my name is Francis Green and welcome to this channel where we cover news and obviously our trading strategy. If you are new, make sure you hit the like and get value. Hit that subscribe and let's dive straight into it. So over here on the daily time frame, you can see that we have the daily up on here. I'm going to go over here and take the second one down on trading view. And you can see I've got nothing else marked on my chart, no levels, because I don't want to confuse you. Just want to show you the Fibonacci golden pocket. Now, what I this is my settings. You come over here and you've got your fib. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my fib from this low just here, and I'm going to bring it to then the next high that follows that low. OK, and you can see we bring it up to this level just here. And this is the golden pocket that I use. Some people use different, uh, obviously, um, digits, different numbers. This is mine, which is a 618 and a 065. Some use a 066 and obviously some use also 70 as well. Now on your chart at first, you may say, well, it looks completely different. I have many, many lines. And that's very, very easy for you to change. So you click on that and then you come up here to your tool and this is your settings, okay? And on here, you can change the color um, of your trend line. You can add a trend line if you want, as you can see just there, if I can move that to the side, you can see this trend line just here. I don't like that because it shows you where you're dragging it from to where you're taking it. And you can do different levels, etc. You could put a 0 0.5 on there. You could put your 786 on there, um, 3618, whatever levels that you want, especially if you're going to do extended um, fibs. But for this one, it's just to show you the golden pocket and what actually happens, happens a lot of the time when we get to those levels. So as I said, I take it, took it from this bottom. I'll take it for the top. For illustrative purposes only, I'm going to put a um, line in there and I'm going to change that to white so you can see. So you can see where I'm taking it from, the bottom, and I'm going to take it to that high just here. That was the high after the low. And that then gives me a level that I need to look out for. And you can see that we come down and we touch this zone for a while. We're in there for about three or four days, but then we make a move to the upside. Not only that, we then come down and touch it again. However, the second one, if we bring it up there, and that would be our low, and that would be our high, we didn't find any support there. You can see we crashed straight through that. So then look, let's look at the next one. Okay, let's look at the next one. This is a nice sell-off and deep move to the downside. Again, we come over here, second tool down on trading view, our fib, and we're going to take it from that level. And we're going to take it all the way to the high. And as you can see, look where our price has reacted from. It has reacted from our golden pocket zone again. If we are then to go and move to the upside, and let's do the next move. So we go from there, and then we go all the way up to this one, and we didn't have a retracement to that golden pocket at all. And this is on the daily time frame. And you can use this on any time frame. The lower the time frame, of course, the weaker it can be. So that's when you're on a move to the upside. So now we're going to have a look when we're moving down and we want to retrace back up and maybe re-enter or add to our short. We're going to do exactly the same thing that we did when we was on a bullish momentum. But now we're going to do it on a bearish momentum. So again, this is in the same price action. This is a price action that we're in at the moment, going back over from you know June the 17th, where we got this low, all the way to the present day of this video. Now, I've shown you on our bear, bullish movement to the upside using our Fibonacci golden pocket on a macro, on a daily. And now I'm going to show you when we start to come back down. So you can add to your trades when you're coming back down. So if we take it from the high, and then we add our first low was just here. Now, if you can see, we've still not retraced back up to this golden pocket on a macro daily. Okay. So then we bring it down to this high here. And if you can, this low here, this low just here, which was the low. So we brought it down from the top. We didn't have nothing. Then we brought it down to the macro low at the bottom. You can see here from the top to the macro low. So when we get down here, we are waiting for levels to see where we could add to a short. This is on the daily time frame. So we would be in a long from down here on a lower time frame. 
and then you move to the upside and again you can see that price hits that area not to the dollar because we're on the daily but there is your golden pocket again so then if we take it to this high here now because that is our last major high and then let's take it to this low here because this is where we are now you could say this low here because that's where we are now we still have not retraced back up to this 21 key area and if you have a look at what's going on with charts at the moment you will see that 21 is a zone that a lot of people think that we will get to before we move back to the downside so i hope that explains how you draw your golden pockets that was on the daily time frame you can do exactly on all time frames the one hour the four hour even the one minute but on the lower time frames they're not as strong as on the higher time frames i hope you found that helpful hope you use your fibonacci's in the right way and many people use them in different ways if you found value make sure you hit the like and the subscribe and i will see you on the next video